Alright, so one of these days I'd love to play XCOM. <laughs> it's kind of ironic because we're kind of playing XCOM at the moment. But one of these days I'd like to play XCOM, which means that what I've been working on is kind of getting into shape. You know, trying to not suck as badly as we did whenever we uh, started over. And I'm kind of bored. And I figured I might as well just stream it because honestly I have nothing better to do. So yeah, um, next few XCOM streams that are going to pop up, if they're even going to pop up at all, will mostly be me doing some practice I suppose. Trying out some things, dying horrendous along the way. I think I finally got a firm understanding of all my weaknesses, why I can't technically speaking even beat Long War. Oh god, that sounds depressing. But also areas I gotta improve on. And, well, most of these streams will be aimed at me trying to improve that, or at least get the hang of it, and eventually we'll be able to dive in. I'm gonna be playing on Brutal, um, mostly for the fact that... Uh, mostly for the fact that I know that if I fuck up, I'll get punished really hard, and that's what I need. I, I don't feel like I should get freebies. We're gonna be playing on Iron Man mode, because it's, it's better. It's better to get punished. Of course I'll be watching your streams, Anderson. Don't you worry about it. It all depends on whether or not I can make it. I think I ended up playing some Company of Heroes 2 with my friends when you were streaming. And the stream crashed on me and I didn't notice until like after I was done with the entire match. I was like, huh, wait a minute, it's actually quiet on the background. Okay, so um, I do want to run some of the modifiers we're usually running. Um, I'd love to see enemy hit values because I'm a sucker for it. We don't need friendly skies because we are running a bunch of mods. Uh, this includes Squadrons Unleashed, that's the name of it. And Squadron, Squadron Unleashed actually gives us the ability to send out multiple planes at once, which means that friendly skies is kind of irrelevant, unless you know you want to have a very easy time. Um, and we're going to be running with bronze mode. Bronze man mode, I feel incredibly disgusted about it, but for several reasons. First of all, I think we once had had it that we bugged out in the mission. And the only way to fix it was by restarting through bronze, bronze man mode, and you know, in case I really fuck up. <sighs> okay, what else do we have? We're not going to run with aiming angles, I love it, but... I've learned my lesson. You know, you can't have all the things you love. We're not gonna go with strict screening. Uh, hidden potential? Sounds like fun. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kinda tempted to say no. We shouldn't do this. Um, new economy is a yes. Red Fog will be a different spin. I'm afraid of Red Fog. Wait, hold on. Red Fog, Red Fog. Where's my Red Fog at? Wait, where the hell is my Red Fog at? Uh, it's enabled, but no, there it is. Any wounds taken in combat will degrade a unit's aim and mobility stats for wounded or damaged. This applies to aliens as well. Yeah. Exactly that, Anderson, but also I think, let's say that I'm making a sniper, and I'm like, well, this is a high precision sniper, so I'm gonna make it um, a crit sniper, and then all the next subsequent rolls will have terrible aim. Red Fog forces you to take medics. Does it, though? Any wounds taken. So, it's not the actual health, it's the wounds that are being taken. Really? Hmm. All right. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Don't care about absolute critical. We are going to be running with dynamic war. Now, I do think from last time around, dynamic war is skilled to one, which means that basically we are running long war, but the mission table that's being used is based on dynamic war, which means it's not calculated every month, but it's adapted every moment or something along those lines. Trust me, trust me. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Um, and we'll pick results driven. I think that's good enough for me. 
can teach you well to take medics always with you. Yeah, medics is actually very important to have for at least somebody with medikits. Uh, we're not going to be running Commander's Choice, so one of the things I'm trying to teach myself in this scenario is get the best out of your soldiers with the presets that are available. Don't know. Oh, fine. Okay, there we go. Uh, Alright, well, you know, it's a practice mode anyway, so I can always blame you if uh, it's too easy. It's all your fault, Anderson. You made me do it. <laughs> okay. Last but not least, I do want to pick the front start. Ah, uh, not the Foreign Legion one, the Quad d'Orsay. Country added requests occur, 30% faster, fulfilled requests provide 40% additional defenses, and intel scans cost 40% less. So let's get we'll cracking. For for this one. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien <gasps> Is that what it means? Area. We should get down there and eliminate any <laughs> Okay. So... Um... One of the things that I had to learn at school... I googled it. Ah, okay. One of the things I had to learn at school was French. I, I am currently, you might notice it, because I have the worst pronunciation in the world, and I can pronounce anything to save my life. <laughs> Some people have pointed it out before. Um, I, I'm not good at learning languages. I hate French. I hate German. Um, there's only one sentence I know in, Fr in France. In French. There you go. In French. And even that sentence I butcher, which basically means I do not speak French. I wish I would know uh, the French equivalent of leave me alone. Hey there, Universal Matter, how are you doing today? Quar de Ossé is the street where it is located. Long War or Long War Rebellion? We're currently playing with Long War. Um, I'd like to get through Long War and then we might take a peek at Long War Rebellion as well. Oh my god, what am I talking about? But this is currently Long War. I tried a bit of Rebalanced, but. Ah, uh, one mod at a time, I guess. Alright, so this map is actually not too bad. So I think I want to do the... Go through the buildings first, which means we set up over here. Reach through there. Mm. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And we're running a whole bunch of other mods. Oh shit, utility mods mostly. Line of sight. Forgot everything else. You know, cut. Oh, melt. That's actually pretty excellent. Location Gotta start small. Confirmed. How many people can I actually get here? Yeah, I figured as much. Well, one problem at a time, right? I will refrain from giving hints. Yeah, yeah, that's perfectly fine with me. One of the main issues I've been having up until now is I try to play in a certain way. That doesn't really resonate very well with certain people. <laughs> so I try to adapt, and that basically leads to me um, not really adapting, but just doing like half in half. Doesn't end very well. Right. Anyways, we're currently gonna break line of sight. And we're gonna be keeping the door open, they won't be able to reach the door. Something tells me he's right around the corner, but doesn't look like it. Okay. Okay, um... Let's start with number one. Attention. Let me I was afraid of that. But now we know. Drone has landed. We need to prioritize the drone. Wait a minute. Oh, you sneaky buggers. Hmm. I don't think I want to go for a triple pot activation now. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm a big fan of activating pots, but not like this. Do we have any heavy, heavy... Nope, no heavy grenades, alright. Hmm. 
I know how to deal with this. I know how to deal with this. So let me think, that is three enemies that we've seen. We know there is a drone right over there. And we can't get the drone, sadly. Two, four, six, seven. We're missing one pot of four, I think. Okay. Now I can try and take a few pot shots at him, but that's not looking very fortunate. He's probably going to set up around his ridge. And there is no way I want to try to flank him. That's suicide. But we can utilize the scar. And there is no way he can get a flank on us, so I think we should basically set up over here. They're gonna see us once we move in over here. They probably... he will probably have a line of sight on me. Probably. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to take a few seconds here to think. So we have a few options. We can break line of sight, let him come towards us. But that lets him or he will be able to move up on our flank. Which will be perfectly fine, because... No. Almost perfectly fine. Let's say that he can move over there or flank will be secured. <laughs> um... Ask me that again in a bit, Sarah uh, Kneffel. We're about to do something incredibly stupid. Now I can blow him up with a grenade, but I will prefer to actually get the corpses, so we're gonna try and prioritize that. I can kill this pot with one AP. I'm fairly certain I can kill that pot with one AP. Now what I could do... Let's try and move in, but this is half cover. I can get behind the doors and take shots at the drones. And as far as I can see, this is a singular pot. Eliminate him. Suppress them. Eliminate the drone. Leaving me with three free guys. Mind merge him. Danger close. We're gonna break line of sight. Wait, what? Huh. Um, Fabian, what is your mobility? 13. Rasmus, 12. Get over there. I'm on the move. <sighs> that kind of scared me. So I think once we actually stand here, we can see him and shoot him, which means that if we have breached through the door, he will have been able to see us. Aye, aye, and I don't want to stand here because the step out might screw me over. This is the optimal way to play this. He can get behind the door and he'll be able to see Nelly. He'll get, yeah, he'll be able to see Nelly. It won't be a flank. It protects us. So if we hunker down with Nelly... Hmm, are they gonna breach? That's the question. If they breach, where are they gonna go? They're, they will be flanked here. They'll be flanked there, and they'll be flanked there. There's no way they can reach that. These guys will probably hold up over here, which means that next turn we need to prepare to uh, counter them right over there. Drone. You can't be there, Pierce. I'm sorry. Alright. I think we're good to go. The rest can all go on Overwatch. Okay, I was off by one. I was off by one tile. Then again, if he was flying, he probably would have... <laughs> hey there, drone. Oh. Okay, well, that's cool. No, wait. Oh. Okay, we're good. That was actually inert uh, pot movement. Right, so... We can eliminate the drone. Mm. Ah, we can see a mind merge. Called it. Okay, this is actually really bad. This is really bad. 
you have an assault carbine and you have an assault rifle, you're shooting point blank, that is 4 damage. Yup. Lock the door. First, Nelly. Oh, we got this. We got this in the back. Dead and gone. Anyways, we need to keep up the pace. We definitely need to keep up the pace. I'm gonna take a peek on my flank. Flank is clear. Excellent. You're moving towards us? Nope. I think... I thought I heard the melt there for a moment, but apparently I didn't. Okay. Alright, so... Um, we could attempt to enter this area, but we know there is a sector... Wait, what? Okay, it's just the entire door thing, so both doors are closed. But we know, or we knew there was a sectoid in here. We know there is no sectoid on our flank. Might have buggered off to there. Gotta be careful, because those guys are right over there. Hmm. Rolling. Let's take a peek. We're in the clear. So how many actives do we have for sectoids? Well, that door is closed, so we can take a quick peek over here. Do I have somebody to support? Kinda. It's only a peek. Hmm. Hmm. Let's not charge in. I have nobody to support that. go over here, they should not activate because we have the superior cover. But we're not in a rush, right? We are not in a rush. Bot has been activated, that's the only downside. So how about we move up? Alright, room's clear. Neat. Heading to that location. Uh, it requires me to charge r Hello! Hmm, that does change a few things, doesn't it? There's one over there. Why take the peak? I would need to take the peak. Because Rasmussen needs to go over there. If he's on Overwatch, I prefer to fight him on my, uh, my terms. That means that we're going to activate this spot next turn, which means... Oh shit, I hit one of those keys. Huh? Aye, aye, Commander. Let's do it. Oh, he's not on Overwatch. That's interesting. Let's drop him. <laughs> yeah, let's drop him. Okay. Not how I want to do it, but uh... damn. Then want to. All oh, right. Hmm. Don't want to do it the cheating way. Let's see if we can actually. Can we get a decent grenade in there? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, I didn't expect. Well, I should have expected to miss the ninety percent. Should have. Uh, should have taken that into account. Yeah. Screw it. We'll do it the cheaty way. <laughs> so unfair. I love it. All right, Rasmussen, get over here. Orders confirmed on the move. A 
Verstanden, Commander. Ah, uh, won't need to pop a reload, but I want him to be on Overwatch. We'll deal with uh, the fallout some other way. Oh! Aha! Busted! And there they are. Ah, oh, they don't run into the PC room? Snap! Okay, so if we go incredibly aggressive, we can drop him, we can drop him, then we can move her in. How far can you actually move their butt? Sorry, him. We can move him in. Could potentially drop him, leaving us with... 5, 1... 1, 2, 3... I think there is one somewhere over here, 4, and there is one over there, 5. That's one that we can drop, that's two that we can drop, that's a third one we can drop. Hmm. We can also AP him. Move up here? No, because he will flank us. No. Alright, let's go very aggressive on this one. We have the advantage, actually. Remember, you have Red Fog on. Yes, I do. That's the scary part. Let's start by opening this door. Bingo. Then we go up here. It's what I'd like to say in reality. Uh, Pierce is gonna go first. Yes! Giving us line of sight on this guy! <gasps> Hello. Uh, Anderson suggested it. So if we assault Carbine him, that that will be a good start. This way. Ninety three. Ninety three. What about you? What about you, Pierce? Hundred percent. All right, Pierce, hit him. Alright, he's down to 1 HP, that's perfect. Next up, my blood over here. Good night. <laughs> Why am I playing XCOM again? Alright, she would need to move in. This would be the next dangerous move we could potentially do. That will result in a pot activation. Don't worry, Anderson. I have it under control. I have it under control. Before, I want to get a range bonus on that guy. Welcome. Let's get a range bonus on that guy. Alright, let's clean up. Uh Wagner. I have two backup nades. Those two backup nades. Oh I I said two two, I meant uh, Rasmussen over here also has one. On the move. Uh besides the fact that, uh, son of a I'm so tired of you, Rasmussen. I forgot how cones work. Oh no. Ah, perfect. All according to plan. Just what we need. Well, knowing that, uh, Menemas, take the shot. Beautiful. That's the one I was mostly worried about. This is a uh, walk in the park. It's kind of disappointing because this means the promotions won't be spread out. Good work out there, Strike One. Oh, seven aliens. The labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. 
We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. I think one person didn't get a promotion. Damn it! Well, shoot. It happens. It happens to the best of us, right? Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research I always thought that the beginning mission had 11 aliens for some weird reason. High breath for by breath for Oh, two people. You were able to recover so much of the melt substance with yeah. Nelly kind of deserves it. She missed the 93%. Erasmussen, she deserved better. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Wait, 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 wait. hold on. We fought seven enemies. Six of them were sectoids. Okay, we fought seven of them. Six of them were sectoids. Three of them have been blown up with grenades. Wait, but... Oh, let me just quickly... I don't get it. Okay, moving on. Hi Valen, bye Valen, hi Shen, bye Shen. Hey Hanger, bye Hanger. Taking a break from Wasteland to see. Hey there, Rubberry. Um, no, we're not really taking a break from Wasteland. Um, I've just had it planned for Monday, Saturday. Well, Thursday and Friday fell through. I didn't have anything planned for today. Kind of was bored, and I decided, hey, I want to practice some um, some actual XCOM. Hi, Mission Control. By Mission Control, we can't do Xenobiology. We can't do anything. I hope you'll consider seeking out additional scientists to bolster the team. Yeah, we did blow him up with a grenade. Help you buy human energy. Well, thank you, Rube Barry. That's appreciated. Yeah, this this is horrible. Um, run is very cursed. So, uh, I think the real problem was I didn't have a backup that involved shooting enemies. Let's try to support you. Well, as long as you watch my stream and you enjoy it, I will be very happy there, Rootberry. Don't ask for anything more. You're right, it's not very often that we see drones on the first mission. Huh. Um, but yeah, long story short, crap, that was terrible. How long does this take? 21 days. Well, we could start by buying two satellites. Oh, thank you for the subscription there, Fruitberry. It is very much appreciated, as always. Better restart, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. And this is testing, after all. XCOM when? XCOM won't appear for quite a while. I'd love to do a fresh playthrough because it's been so long ago. We might even play the original one. <laughs> might. Might. Uh, again, I'm trying to practice. This is me just trying to practice for... Um... Oh my god. Dynamic War? When we're actually going to do, uh, or quote unquote, Season 3. <laughs> I'm making finger quotes. And they won't stop. Anything else I'm missing? I'm probably missing something. Hey, the worm. Oh, no, apparently there's a really cool mod for... Uh, it's called The Art of War, Kneffel. Please tell me it's called The Art of War. That's not what I subbed for. Oh, don't worry, worm. Don't worry. Number six. I'm, I'm sure I'm missing something. I, I just can't put my finger on it. Maybe it's Liberators? Training roulette. There won't be more wasteland on uh, Monday. I'm gonna point it out right now. I need to make sure I get up in time today or tomorrow. I'm out of here again. 
Yeah, no worries, Worm. Just tomorrow will probably be the finale of Wasteland. And afterwards, I think I already know what game I'm gonna play. Which includes Battle Brothers. Probably some other type of game. Star Sector. Anyways, when do we get some more emotes? Um, oh god, what was through again? I think I need to have like... 10 subscribers before I'm allowed to have another emo emote or some crap like that. Unfortunately, it's just a world of terrifying silence. Oh, that sounds terrible. Right, uh, Red Folk. Let's go. How about you never play Get Over It? <laughs> but how am I supposed to get over it if I don't play it? You guys will be very hurt watching me play it. It will be the most boring content ever. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. That's my entire channel in a nutshell. <laughs> uh, but I have another emote. Uh, once we have another emote slot available, I will definitely smash the one right in. Of course, uh, kudos to Lucky, because he designed the other emote as well, just like the RNG emote. He does a pretty damn good job on it. Strike one. This is <sighs> you are free to engage all, all right. hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Don't take any chances. You hurt the man. Oh, there's only way one way to play this. We go straight through the middle. And we can split out once we're actually over here. Merci. Oh, <laughs> that scared me. Ten four. Um. On the move. But, yeah, the previous mission, I don't think I did anything inherently bad besides not having a backup that didn't involve being a grenade. I guess my squad was a bit too spread out. Everybody should have been closer and in shooting position. Um, I relied too much on grenades to finish things off. Guess that was one of my uh, issues here. You did a lot of risky moves. Mm. With your last move? No, my last move I had completely under control until I realized that that second grenade actually couldn't have hit those two sectoids. Other than that, it was doing perfectly fine. Also, it's... One attention. Oh shit, they're close by. One on the first turn. Yes, one on the first turn. I immediately want to go for a reveal. Alright, so... Should be aliens somewhere over here, so if we... Move up over here, that's high cover. Wait, hold on, just just open the door. Ah, works for me. Works for me. Alright, let's have them all come out. I guess we'll be breaking line of sight in this scenario. Have to move closer and then we'll finish them off in one or two turns. Is it impossible where... yes. Yes it is. The only downside of the situation we're currently in is we have no visual indicator. We are now currently locked into a death match. Um, it basically assumes that the enemy is going to move forward towards us and they're not going to do that. <laughs> Which means we're pretty much bones. This, this really sucks. So break line of sight in this scenario actually does not do the trick at all and I just gave away my advantage. Like a dum dum. Shouldn't have broke line of sight there. That's what I'm trying. Really? Ah, well, that's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. What I probably should have done is move up, hunker down, and just brute force the living crap out of them. I 
This map is in my... Oh. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, yeah. That's really bad. Oh, yeah. Yep. There you have it. I'm not even surprised that hit either. Uh, okay, so we can see three enemies. We know there is a four from boosting over here. And I think we saw somebody over here earlier. Who might have gone down here. Uh, ah, this, this completely and totally sucks actually. It's really bad. Yeah, I'll be lying if I said this is fine. If I blow him up with a grenade, at least I'll break line of sight. Yes, I'm at it again with the grenades. I thought I had a good one. Well, I guess that's my problem, I was thinking. Either left or right. Okay, so here's the problem with this map, activating on the left. If you activate on the left... Um, you usually would end up either activating all the way down here, which is impossible, or you do it up here, which is half cover. Any subsequent move you want to make, either you're stuck in half cover, or you have to go to the middle of the map regardless, and on the right there is just three pieces of half cover. Here you have full cover, and you have a better mobility range. Uh, you still put two guys in the middle. Yeah... Anyways, this guy's gonna make my life a living nightmare. So I have to deal with him one way or another. And I currently can't. Oh, now I get high explosives. Yeah, so we can't actually hit him. Oh, shoot. This is what it is. I guess we'll try to break some more line of sight. It's not gonna work. This really is not gonna work. So yeah, here we go. Now we're finding an Overwatch War, where the enemy has to approach us. We're losing time, we're gonna lose the precious melt that we need. And we're pretty much stuck in a deadlock that we're not gonna be able to win straight off the bat. This is definitely the suboptimal way to do this engagement. Oh, oh that's nice. <sighs> so beyond this point, I just want to push out. That's affirmative. Even if we run like five overwatches, there we go. There we go, right in the face. Just what I was expecting. Uh, where's my um? Where's my butt? There's my butt. Well, at least they are where I want them to be. Out in the bloody open. Alright. Uh, let's hope this doesn't high roll, that's all I can ask for. Hmm. Close enough. That is going to be a problem. One that we can sort of resolve. One problem at a time. One problem at a time. Uno problemo el timeo. Or something along those lines. Terrible hit chances. We're probably gonna miss two thirds of the shots. Which is ironic because we're supposed to hit two thirds of the shots and I shot the wrong guy. Uh, there we go. I'm getting a bit too worked up at the moment. I'm already making poor decisions. <laughs> Already making poor decisions. Yeah. And that is like one of the things that really gets me over and over. If I tend to get too worked up, I start making irrational decisions without actually calmly, um, patiently? 
Well, anyways, without thinking about it, as a result, I tend to screw up big time. Actually, pretty nasty. Okay. Definitely one of my bigger weaknesses. Uh, but then again, like I was saying, this is all practice. I, I need to warm up again. That's what I'm currently lacking. How bad is the... Oh, 21%. That's pretty bad. You say that, Anderson, but enemies will always hit me. Always. Regardless. Watch this. Oh, wow. I'm actually kind of shocked. Oh. Uh, I, I considered it for a moment, Kneffel, but then I realized, oh, hold on, didn't we miss like a, um, what was it? A 95, and a 93, and an 89? We missed quite a few RNG chances, as one would expect. Anyways, let's clear them out. Move up. Excellent, that's all I need to know. Wait, hold on, no, that's not all I need to know. Ah. Alright guys, stick to cover. Um, mind Fred, Battle Fatigue. Oh, you can lob out an AP if needed. You can go over there, that will give you side cover, you shoot him. Play some more star sector. Oh man. Like in that scenario, okay, just... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, well, that's fun. In that scenario, a 94 could have potentially missed, but there was no way I would have gotten any better hit chances. I don't want to nate him again, crying out loudly. Looks like I have no choice. Yeah, I have no choice. Doesn't... No, I think we confirmed it didn't. Well, you say that there, Anderson, but we did that earlier, and look how it paid off. We couldn't do a singular research whatsoever. Might just be the melt that gets destroyed. I believe it's just the melt. Alright, well, there is not a lot of things I can do here. Uh, we're in a pretty gnarly position, all things considered. So, the best option we have at the moment is to go very aggressive, push them out, and I pray to God that he doesn't swing around to try and murder us. Uh, fairly unhappy about this entire engagement. Yeah, I really, really don't want to nade them. But I might need to nade one of the two. Son of a... Really? Are you f Come on! Come on! I mean, look! Am I blind? I might be blind, look at that! It's right there! Mind free at work. I knew we had mind free, that's why I wanted to move closer, but this is just... Oh shit. Oh! <laughs> Pretty pissed about that. Double 
Yeah, I'm losing my nerve already with this game, I swear to god. Oh, I would love to shoot you. We'll see how this is gonna play out. At this point, I don't even know anymore. But, um... I'm pretty bloody effing pissy. Yeah, so this is a combination between me making very poor decisions and just having a terrible opener. They're starting to lose ground. Oh, I'm surprised. There we go. There we go. Eat it! Play Gate Crusher, man. Gate Crusher is such a meme. How many did we kill? Four. Mm. Yep, keep hauling that ass. Chop chop. this guy as well. Like honestly, um, I need to learn how to do proper openers. That was a really bad opener. All hit chances and everything aside, um, <laughs> I got carried away way too easily. Whenever a uh, shit hit the fan. Come on, time to cowboy. There we go. Get back up. And this is where I usually just end up crutching myself. Poor decision making. Notice how we didn't get any melt, and the melt is gone. Well, almost all gone. If I can have those last freaking sectoids, that would be perfect. The answer is, of course you can't. Okay. Right, everybody else just moving close. Don't worry about the melt. Yeah, I need to worry about the melt. Melt is like 80% of the way that you need to do your opener as far as um, I've had the luck up until this point, if that makes sense. The sentence don't make sense, but trust me, it makes sense. Uh, basically, the 40 cash you can get from the first melt is enough to actually help you get your second satellite. Uh, or the satellite uplink in this case. Without that melt, you might not even be able to make it. It really depends on your luck with the UFO. Uh... But then again, not getting the melt determines how I, uh, which early items I can get. No melt means no motion tracker, right off the bat. Um, okay, yeah! This, this is cool. This is cool. Come on, come on. Okay, he did something stupid. Right. Come on, get him, get him, get him! Thank you. And we have another problem. I just heard the multi activate and die. Wow, um, actually, very non ironically speaking, everybody besides the guy who's missing a promotion has a promotion. Which means Oliver Hall needs to get a promotion. And technically speaking, what I want to do is just nade him and be done with it. I think that's what I might just do. Nade him and get it over with. Uh, 
Then again, hold on. If we put Hull over here... Yeah, the multi activated. Well, GG. Rip. Put a few people up against the wall. There's one or two inside. Dash you over to the cover. Dash you over there and everybody else goes on overwatch. Is that way we'll flash them into a... Uh... Nope. Oh. Oh well that's... Screw you too. Guess he really wants Oliver to get the kill, huh? Uh... Alright, let's just finish it. Yeah, okay, well, it's not really fortunate. Really is unfortunate. He's going to move and we're going to take an overwatch shot. I would prefer him to go up to the high cover if possible, but he'll take, sh take a shot at us. Oliver needs to get his promotion, so we'll give him his promotion. I'll deal with the rest later. Uh, son of a... Oh, thank god. <laughs> I expected that to hit. I really did. But yeah, from experience, most of the time I really do need to melt. We didn't get any melt this time around. I think I've done opening missions that simply don't spawn any melt. That was pretty nasty as well. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. Cool. Alright, everybody at least got a promotion, but one person did take uh, 8 damage. Now we have 7 corpses, now we can actually do research. Look at that, Valen is so happy. Finally gets to do actual things. Xenobiology is the first one we want to go for. Engineering. Um, we definitely want to build two satellites. Let's hope we actually get lucky. Oh. Stop that. Build normal and build normal. Situation room, mission control, and I guess we could scan for activity. We've done everything we need to do, right? But yeah, again, that was a really bad mission, and that's exactly what I need to improve on. Um... Right, sorry, there we go, bit occupied. So, what do we have? Uh, sorry about the background noise that's there. Um, so what do we have? We have 90 cash. Okay, this is not good. This is really bad. Alright, well, we'll give it a shot. We'll see how it's gonna end. Okay, this is our team. Let's make sure everybody actually is rocking. I think for now we can rock an ass um, Assault Carbine, which does an average damage of 3, whereas the Assault... Mm. Nah, we'll go with the Assault Rifle. At least with the Assault Rifle it's a guaranteed kill. Because we can't min-roll it. Which is fantastic. I want to take a High Explosion Grenade with me, and I want to take an AP Grenade with me. And everybody should be wearing actual tactical armor. Let's save that loadout. And I want some people to take flashbangs with them instead of high explosion grenades. High explosion grenades are only really good for removing small cover without um, actual engineers. Probably want to give to people who don't have the best aim. Yoink. Alright. Guess we can roll out. Let's go. We have visual on the mission site. Our target site is near the. Oh, this one border. isn't too bad. Alien oh yeah. Normally, I will uh, usually end up for streaming for like eight hours or nine hours, but today it will be probably pretty short. Probably. 
Maybe. Perhaps. Alright, so the coffee shop is empty. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Now, if I remember roof tactics properly, and I really, really don't remember roof to uh, rooftop tactics properly, you should have your entire squad upstairs and one person downstairs doing the scouting. We'll try and do that, but no guarantee it's going to work. It's also one of the few strategies I actually got to work on. Moving to designated position. No medkit's gonna be rough. The idea is we're not gonna take any damage. That's at least the idea. Also, I should have checked mobility because I think I want the person with actual mobility to be downstairs. Uh, yep, 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 yep. The person with actual mobility should have been downstairs. Hmm. That's HP though, look at that. Pretty tanky. Uh, okay, I'm making a stupid rookie mistake here. Should not have moved this guy. First jump down. There's our first bot activation, that's why I shouldn't have moved him. Yep. Like I said, this just needs so much refining. I am pretty bad at it. Solid copy. Pretty damn bad at it. Aye, aye, Commander. On it. Yep, that was a terrible setup. There now. Oh, I'm glad I'm practicing this at least. Drone uses overload on drone. Uh, what just happened? What? I've never seen that happen before either. I got like 400, maybe 500 hours of XCOM. That's a first. That is truly a first. Do I have a flashbang by any chance? I don't, do I? This gave me some high cover. We're gonna pick on this end as well. Activate whatever is down there. I was willing to accept that activation. Also, I'm willing to accept the next activation on the left. Start cleaning this up ASAP. Bye -bye. Really never seen that happen before. Don't even think I've seen it happen in vanilla either. Oh god, now I'm obsessed about it. <laughs> So we just naded this whole bunch. I don't think we can blow this up. Oh shit, we did blow him up. I mean, I kind of didn't mean to, but it happened. Wait. So you do have a flashbang. I'll take it. Alright, because this guy has a flashbang and I can flash... Well, actually, he now has red folk applied as well. Hmm... 
either shoot him or I don't shoot him. Yeah, the drone just suicide bombed. <gasps> oh shit! Oh, you're right, Anderson. The drone did not suicide bomb. The drone has 3 HP and he took 2 HP worth of damage. Wait, no. It died. It, it, it dropped um, a component, or whatever you want to call it. That's still pretty good hit chances. I should not underestimate Red Folk. Like I just did. Yeah, it's suicided. It is legitimately gone. Erased from history and its records. Alright, so I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let loose a bunch of uh, volleys and then we'll flash them if uh, that doesn't does not do the trick. Oh my god, talking is so difficult. Okay, next one. Yeah. Otherwise he would have flashed. Hmm. Ah, you can actually reach that in one fell swoop. I might actually just grab it. Should have done that on my first turn. Hmm. Well, it's a shame. Yes, Commander. Exactly, block. I finally did five clicks. Oh, hello. Hi there. How you doing, buddies? Busted! <laughs> you deserve the promotion, my friend. Anyway, somebody should grab the melt. And that makes it 8 aliens. For a moderate, I think that's everything on the map. Got it. Got the goods. So I believe there is a pipe, right? Oh no. No, there's a ladder all the way over there. Okay. So we can actually cover some distance up on the rooftops. Enrique does get a promotion, that's really good. Olsen has a promotion, that's also pretty good. Let's do this. Ah, Kosha needs a promotion. Let's keep that in mind. He's actually the only one who needs one, isn't he? Hmm, good. Very good. And that breaks line of sight. How about them beans? Shut up, listen. Oh. X-ray got me outflanked. Oh my. Um. Ah. <laughs> ah. He's on Overwatch as well. That's why it's so funny. He's trying to lure me out, basically. Hmm. I can actually see him from over here, and that is a flanking shot, and then... That counts as cover, doesn't it? Hmm. Well, if we need this, we might be able to blow up the tables. That's good. That's really good. Excellent. That shall not trigger the overwatch. I stand corrected. 11 aliens. Uh um... Slight miscalculation on my end. <laughs> Just a slight one. Moderate has four pots. I should have known. I should have known. Alright. 
Push I, you don't ha actually have a promotion yet, do you? Blow him up with grenades. It's a waste, it's a real waste, but uh, pow! Worth it. 200% worth it. Well, easy come, easy go, we're out of here. Hmm. Yeah, back onto the roof we shall go. Roger that. <laughs> Uh, that's a good one. I'm on the move. Reloaded. But uh, that's that's actually good, guys. I was very worried that we won't have enough uh, things to kill. Looks like that problem has been properly resolved. Ah, shit! He's boosting the other guy. Ah, there goes one of her melt, and the other one is about to disappear as well. So he is boosting him. I'm gonna guess that there is one or two behind the car. Right over there. Would make a lot of sense, but they can also be behind the truck. So what I'm gonna need is some ice on the situation. Alright, so one guy's over there. Doesn't seem to be on Overwatch. He might be on Overwatch. Hmm. Roughly about maybe four or five tiles to the left. Hmm. Alright, Olsen, give me a I'm peek. Rolling. Yeah, he's an Overwatch. And the fact that one of them is currently not visible, because there should be four of them, means he's right there. And we can actually reach that and we can shoot. No. Wait. Where is he? Shit. Oh, I stand corrected. I just get shot in the back if I run down here. That's a flanking shot, by the way. That's also a flanking shot. Hmm. Doesn't matter. I have to... Well, I say it doesn't matter, but what I could do... Yeah, it doesn't matter. She has the AP. Oh, he does have a flashbang. Excellent. Alright, let's take one more peek. Okay, so I'm guessing he's behind the truck. Unless he's secretly teleported inside, but then I'm gonna be very pissed off. Very pissed off. Anyways, that last melt is a goner. There's nothing we can do about it. Nothing we can do about it. Alright, one of them is exposed out in the open. On my way. Oh, I was gonna say it should be easy pickings for Toddler, but Toddler can't even see him. And neither can this guy. Hmm.
Those are both dashing actions. Yes, Commander. Well, close and personal. Bye bye. And he's flanked, that gives me the perfect opportunity to set up a few overwatches. Ah shit. 28. Oh my, he had no mercy. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Mind tray. Only we have one more turn, but. It's gone. Yeah, there is still a sectoid on the loose. Uh... Wait, is that car on fire? That car is on fire, yes. Yes, it is. Affirmative. I don't know where the last sector it is, and that bothers me. That bothers me a lot. It's a pointless check. Where did he go? I'm on the move. Like seriously, where the hell did that guy go? Okay. I'm not gonna like the answer, am I? Let's check out the restaurant. How can, how did I manage to lose a sectoid? Honestly. Really? Overwatch. That's that's your solution. Well, your solution sucks. X ray neutralized. Where the hell did he go? You go to the kitchen. No, he must be behind the damn truck. Oh, at least the car's not on fire, I guess. Can safely uh, say so. Keep the roof, keep the alley, keep the kitchen, keep the police car. Oh ho ho, the car was on fire and he was behind the damn truck. <laughs> uh, I, I knew it, I knew it all along. It was so obvious, of course he's behind the truck. Of course, he's behind the damn truck. There you go. That's terrible. Impressive work, Commander. Our soldiers have to be feeling good. We will be in touch. So yeah, um, now we have to build the satellite uplink. With 200 cash, we have 90 available, and if I want, let's say we had gotten all the melt, that's 6, 12, 18, let's assume that the first two, it won't have been enough. Combined, it still won't have been enough to get all the cash we need. Um, I think the mission was kind of early, but the UFO was really late. You only need to build it on the tent. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm looking at the satellites and not at the council report. 
All is good. Time to launch the ballistic. Oh, no, no, no. We're not ready for a Cold War yet, there, uh, Rookberry. Ooh, there's the UFO we were talking about. You know, it's a delicate political situation. Come on. Nice. Central. Yep, Central. Good job, Central. Let's uh, crack some alien skulls. Uh, and we sent the next squad of rookies. Okay, um, squad loadout one, and let's give people some flashbangs. I am still tempted to remove some of the HD grenades. Let's also give them flashbangs to the people with actual mobility, like Mac Alistair over here. Not Cooper, not Espinosa, not anybody else. McKay is fine. Well, hmm, I guess. I guess we can give to Cooper. Cooper sounds like a guy who uh, could lob a grenade. I mean, a flashbang grenade. There we go. Dropship has arrived. <sighs> but yeah, my roof tactics are still really bad. Looks like the UFO went down in a densely populated area within the city limits. Let's just hope everyone on the ground stayed clear. I agree, Bradford. I think my strategies, basically, um, if any country would hire me as a military officer, God help them, it will be... <laughs> it would have been the Soviet Union. I, I tend to believe in the human wave. If 2,000 men don't uh, cut it, send them 4,000. 4,000 not enough, just make it 8,000. Guns? What the guns? They have fists. Alright. Uh, speaking about that. Moving in. Okay. We're good to go. This is not my favorite place to actually spawn on this map, sadly. It's actually pretty nasty. Uh, Espinosa without the movement points. So my general rule of thumb will be... Um, Roger. Tracking. We'll sweep around the building, uh, through the rooftop. Well, actually, we'll go through the building itself, not the rooftop, because there is melt on that end. Well, if somebody take a peek at the rooftop... No, actually, we'll send two people to the rooftop. Actually, we'll send her. No. Yeah, we'll send two people to the rooftop. And hopefully. Emphasis on hopefully here. It will be enough to uh, see if there are enemy pods and potentially provide cover support. Then we'll uh, sweep around, head to the mothership. Hopefully. Yeah, we're gonna miss that uh, it done. piece of melt. Yes, I'm yeah, so our lack of mobility is really hurting us. Man, I really missed the Nigeria start. The plus one mobility was amazing. That was really good. I really enjoyed it. Okay, so the melt is right up ahead, so I'm gonna send my entire squad in that case, uh, roof side. Entire squad besides one person. Yes, tomorrow is the Wasteland 3 finale. Hopefully, if we can do it in four hours. But I'm gonna assume so. I I I am gonna assume so. I don't think we're alone out here. Sectoids in the alley. God. Well, it looks.
looks like we had three canisters of melt available to us and we only are gonna get another just one just a singular freaking canister of melt I really am not happy about that basically every canister of melt you end up missing uh, it's just cash that's what we're looking for Bingo. I'm on it, Commander. I'm glad you are there, uh, Jamie Cooper. See, I knew I could trust this man. Oh! Ah, fuck's sake! Yeah. ET's trying to crawl up my flank. Oh, I've noticed. Yes. <gasps> <sighs> I'm disappointed. Roger that. He's down. Little bugger. Alright, let's clean these guys up in the alley. Head to the UFO. Yes, Commander. There we go. go. Can't escape that. Can no? Can you, you little bastard? Alright, Espinosa, show them what you're made of. Don't even need to see my. <laughs> Don't break doors, God. Oh, what's wrong with you? And there goes another melt. I think the third one is about to expire as well. Man, these melt containers really were sucking pretty badly. <sighs> Good copy. Moving on target. I feel so defeated. Oh. We're not going to be able to make that melt canister. Um, I've accepted this. <laughs> oh. Never mind, it's right there. Let's rush for it, guys. What's the worst that can happen? I'm on it, Commander. Do some. Go on it. Roger that. And there goes the melt canister as well. Okay, that's actually very poor performance on our end and we should feel bad because that was really bad hm. why would you not gonna question it I hate how my um, action queue usually gets really messed up position confirmed it's probably the way that I keep uh, shifting through them literally <laughs> we're inside the UFO Okay, the way we're gonna do this breach, we're gonna do it old fashioned, two way front, we hit them hard, we push them fast. Solid copy. Hope for the best. Target. Yes, Commander. I'm on the move. The aliens are very cautious. And I don't like it. Aye, aye, Commander. 
moving. That was under Hey <laughs> there's Cerebus. Oh man. Underworld's been actually going pretty much better. Matter of fact, I'm actually very surprised how much we're not dying. Ha! Psych, we are still dying crap ton. It's really bad. But instead, now I'm diving back into XCOM to forget about all that misery. Because, oh my... We've been playing this for how long? Ah, oh, just an hour and a half and I'm already ready to quit. I feel like I got stepped in the face so many times, it's terrible. Okay. Alright, let's peek on the right side. Bingo, outsider. Hey, melt. We won't even have been able to get uh, the melt. Good to know. Alright, we also know there is a sectoid pulled around. Yes, XCOM really... Uh... That looks like the primary power source for the alien craft. I could only hazard a guess as to the amount of power it would have to be generating to propel that ship. I'd watch your fire down there. That equipment could be highly unstable. Oh, Shen. Shen. Is that because you're restarting? Uh, long war in general, really. Uh, but currently we're doing a few practice runs at the moment. Just so I know how to play the early game again. <laughs> yes, local syndrome. Exactly like that. Aye, aye. I think I started following you. Yes, that's correct, Ruberry. Um, I remember that. Very good time. I think uh, you're the one who told me about the Protonex as well back then. I think Wasteland 2 probably has been the second best stream I've done. The other is XCOM, but XCOM is mostly just... Um, it isn't quality, it is quantity, as some people would say it. But uh, Wasteland 2 was very well received. I was very happy about that. It was a game that I had laying around in my library for, I think, maybe a year. And I couldn't finish it, or I tried to play through it and I couldn't finish it. So I said, I'm gonna stream it, so I'm forced to finish it. And, well... People actually want to see that, somehow. <laughs> I'm not complaining. As long as people find it entertaining, I am happy! Speak oh no. Oh no. Oh no, it's four drones! Play Wasteland 1. I've looked at Wasteland 1. I'm kind of interested in playing it. I think I currently own it. Ha! But... Here they come. Oh shit. Alright, change of plans. I did not expect it to be two of them. Um, but the UI kind of looked old and I'm very bad with old UIs because I'm an old man. I am so old that I was there when they invented the first uh, UI. Or as I like to call it, a graphical user interface. <laughs> Uh, that's terrible. Legitimately terrible. One, two, three, four, five. You can get inside and shoot me. If you so desired. Which I'm not very happy about. No. Um, early game drones are their own soul unit. And when cyberdisc are introduced, drones can't appear in their own pods or accompany sectoids. So it's because we're currently very early game, it means that the um, drones are kind of appearing. Alright, McAllister. I probably should first consider how I'm gonna deal with these drones. Kinda here. I kinda want them to die, let's just AP the living crap out of them. Yeah, sack the pots later as well. They do have damage reduction, which means that shooting them is actually a very dangerous option. <sighs> 
that's the other danger. That's one. Now we're gonna have to play the RNG game, and I really don't like playing the RNG game. Paid off though. He's that pay off. A hit. But at the cost of not being able to suppress the outsider, and that is going to be a very big problem for me if I don't take care of him right this freaking instant. Uh, so the drone might be able to flank us here. That's the only thing I very much fear. Oh, and 93% shots. They're very terrifying. Very terrifying. Oh, thank god. These guys don't suck. He's getting mind merged. Oh, this is gonna be painful. Alright, so drones can't overwatch. So that kinda makes me wonder, where did the drone go? Yeah. Alright. Um Do some. Yes. <laughs> Alright, come on. Sismonski, you can do it. Oh what a champ. Excellent, alright. Let's rock. Cooper, pop a reload. Moving. Next up is dealing with the drone. Now the drone is going to be a big problem because I really hate flying units. Also because it's a flying unit. But one well placed AP can really change the odds around in my favor. McAllister. <sighs> so close. So damn close. I know the drone's gonna move. The drone's gonna move forward and try to shoot us. Now I could set up an overwatch. But drones don't care about overwatch. They're, they're fine running overwatches as far as I remember. Red Folk. Very good point, Red Folk. I forgot about Red Folk. Excellent. Ah! Had to try. I had to try. So, I'm guessing that people currently. Oh god, so. so. Oh! Oh my, oh my. I was gonna say, so I guess people currently watching are actually kinda interested in seeing some more XCOM. Most of the training that I've done up until this point has been off stream. Some of it good, some of it pretty bad. I can do more of that, it's just very short. It can last up to <laughs> up to an hour. <laughs> but I can do more of that if people are inter uh, if people are interested in that, otherwise um, I'll just keep it offline. You can experience the real XCOM whenever I'm finally ready to uh, attack with. Oh my god. Alright. Nailed it. Excellent. But it's mostly just dual repeating. I think I mostly played the first two months. Because that's I'm you were able to so much where I'm the most rusty. Alright. 120, you're dead and you're not GG. Exactly. That's the important part here. Alright, well, 
Nothing is happening. We're gonna sell our UFO power source. We're gonna sell... 5 melts. It's gonna give us 18 cash. That means that we can go to facilities and we can finally build our satellite uplink. Excellent. And with that, we should be completely prepped for satellite coverage in Europe. Oh, speak about that. Request from Germany. That, that's actually really lucky. Xenobiology is coming up. We're making our satellites. Um, if we had 20 more in cash, I would have bought a um, motion tracker. Commander, we're tracking several reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. Alright, I think I'll do this one mission and then I'll wrap it up for today. I think my blood pressure is high enough as is. <laughs> uh, that's pretty nasty. Alright, then we'll take two scrubs with us. Okay, so we'll take a few flashbangs as always. Flashbangs are pretty handy. I should not underestimate the power of uh, high explosion grenades on rookies. Or non-engineers really. I think they can still really pack a punch if you utilize them properly. Uh, 30 mobility, 50 mobility. Yeah, you do have a flashbang. What about you, Bergman? 30 mobility, 13 and 12. Okay, excellent. Uh, one more thing that I forgot to do, which we should be doing right now, is... Here it is. So, wool partic is particularly bad. Wool or roster really sucks, but the suck and suck. God, that's their way of phrasing it. Even Hansen is pretty alright. Mm. Yeah, the most important thing, exactly. We actually don't have somebody who's particularly bad. I mean, that's okay, I guess. David. I'm sorry, David. You'll get a new nickname. Your nickname now is Pierre. I always forget his last name. I'll, I just remember Pierre. Pierre is a pain. Oh, nope, can't remember. Alright. Um, anybody else? Oh, Moreau. Right, it was Moreau. Very French. Surely you should pick a French man for that. Uh, I quickly got to be right back in a second. Yeah, I, I should have picked a French man, but Swedes are basically French. But, you know, they only have the blue. They're just lacking the red and the white. You know what, Pierre? Why don't you join us? Alright, let's roll out. I'll quickly be right back. In the meantime... Strike one. Prepare for landing.
Let's see. Oh, time to save Germany, I suppose. Our target site is near the German border. Oh yeah, definitely Germany. Look at those cars. Counting on us to secure the area. The bridge. I swear to God, if there is one level. Uh. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is clear to engage. <laughs> I swear to God, if there is one level. Oh, why does it have to be the bridge? All right, so they landed. Because the real champs, these guys, they're like the best. First of all, let's apply some red folk. <laughs> Bing. Oh. Oh yes. Mm. <laughs> oh, delicious red folk. I believe that's two kills. One drone remains. No drone remains. Well done, Kent. You're a real trooper. And as you can see, no drone as I go in top-down mode. Let's do this. Rolling out. Aye, aye. Okay, I'm probably being too. Um, I'm using too many explosives, but I really don't want to deal with drones, and they were landed, and I just want to take advantage of that as much as I could. But hey, Roger that. as long as we get our promotion... Oh my god. How many drones are we fighting? How, how many drones are we going to be fighting? Have I ever mentioned I really hate flying units? God dang it. Alright, come on Bergman. Come on. Oh. All right. Well. Can't flashbang them. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna expose my guys in half cover. That's strategically speaking not the best decision, but uh, I want him dead. He's landed. I want to abuse that as much as I can right now. Montara has a, a nice mantra for this. Bang. Eat this. Again, just simply applying red folk at the moment. Now, back towards okay. the landed guy. Uh, dealing with him is roughly... a 50-50% chance. Bye -bye. And consider it done. Excellent. And then we'll continue with the guys up in the air. Don't have good hit chances. Um, they're gonna shoot somebody regardless. Probably Moreau over here because he has 5 HP. Everybody else seems to... Hey, Moreau actually managed to kill something. <laughs> I noticed that. So both Aaron Kelly and Kent can steady their weapons in the meantime. Alright, and there's the third drone. Drone is landed. Drone double moves. <gasps> Uses repair. Ooh. <laughs> yes, it's character transcends stuff like nationality, gender, and ethnicity. Um. Man. Good old Pierre. Alright, Bergman, shoot the guy in the back. Oh, nice try there, Bergman. So both Kent and Pierre should be focusing on the no both Kent and the other guy should be focusing on the guy in the back. Could shed a tear. It's weird guys. Oh man, I can't even remember. And Dexter's lap was great. He's down. Probably one of the best things I've watched in my childhood. 
Alright, and then the guy in the back's gonna die. Sweet. Kelly, you're next. <laughs> nice try, Kelly. Nice try. Oh, Pierre. Um. Oh, it doesn't matter again. There we go. Nice and close. Oh. Good job tanking there, Lee. Good job tanking. So, Wu... <laughs> Wu currently doesn't actually have... Okay, two people. This is pretty bad. We have two people. Uh, all right. Kent, please don't blow, don't blow him up. Okay, that's all you gotta do. Don't blow up the uh, drone. The, I mean Kent, son of a. All right, everybody, pop a reload. We're moving. Sorta. We're sorta moving. Heading out. Oh, board the choo-choo train. Let's go. Got it covered. I like to make my trains too wide. To that location. It's horrible. Pretty way. bad with it. Back in. Ah, back in. Alright, Bergman. Also, if the last two pods are gonna be drones. What the hell was that? Why, 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 why? Why do I even bother mentioning it? Of course it's gonna be drones. Understood, sir. Of course it's gonna be bloody drones. There now. It was drones all the way down all this time. Oh, that was a stupid move. Shouldn't have made that. Oh my god, more drones! What is this? Moreau? Moreau! Oh, Moreau. That is not good. All right. Okay, Lee, you need to get a kill, but Aaron, you need to get a kill as well. Oh shit. I'm actually kind of tempted to throw a grenade at this point. <laughs> yeah, basically. Well, at least they're not all suiciding, right? So, we have that going for us. Alright, let's throw an HC grenade, see if it pays off. That's one promotion. Sweet. One more promotion to go and that's you, Aaron Kelly. Come on. Or should I say Iron Kelly? Copy that. Uh, if this thing does one damage, I'm gonna be super disappointed. Man, I still think the grenade mechanic is so much better in XCOM uh, 1 than XCOM 2. Another day? Oh my Another god, 10 drones. The entire damn mission was 10 drones. single casualty among the entire squad that takes a solid effort yeah yeah remember we will be watching oh you just saw that you don't want to be watching this uh 
Ah, oh, fitting, Prime Minister. Oh no, the drones escaped. The drones escaped. Anyways, we have the sort of shotguns. Brazil has lost faith in the X. Ah, oh, that's a good joke. That's a good joke. I suppose what we're going to be doing is shooting this, uh... Oh my! It's UFO down. Come on! Ah, shit! We're not going to be able to shoot it down. Come on! That's one. Disengaging. <laughs> Oh, that was so not worth it, but at the same time, that was so worth it. Holy crap. Okay, well, um, that's a good time as any to really call it. So, uh, I might do a bit more of these training uh, streams. Quote unquote training. St oh, 23 days! Oh my, uh, but yeah, I'll be doing some more of these, so expect to see these guys, or these streams, not guys, streams, pop up from time to time. But for now, I'm gonna wrap it up here for today. Uh, we, we did a uh, few... few missions. It ended horrendously. But it was fun. You know, it's good to be back into XCOM. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a good evening, and I uh, hope to catch you all tomorrow for those who are interested in the Wasteland 3 finale. I'll try to play through... Uh, all the way through, but hopefully we'll be able to wrap it up before it's like 4 a.m. in the morning, my time. But yeah, take care people. Have a good evening. Have a good weekend.